Hey guys, and on today's video, we're gonna be updating to the latest iOS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. In your settings, your very second option. Well, your first option should be your name or your device's name. Second option, it's gonna say software update available. However, if you don't see that, scroll down. Go into general, second option, software update. From here, you should see this. If you don't, just turn on, off automatic updates. Everything should refresh. You should be able to see this. If you're having more issues, hook up your iPhone or iPad to your computer and update it from there. On PC, you guys can use iTunes on Mac Finder. Also, keep in mind that you can also do any backups there on your computer, so you don't have to waste any iCloud space for doing that. Anyways, right now, we can just tap on Update Now, put in your passcode. Once you put in your passcode, it's just going to download the update and then install it. At this point in time, you can just leave your iPad or your iPhone to be. Just make sure it's charging up while you're doing this. And then just come back to it afterwards and you should see that everything updated all on its own. Also, like I mentioned, make sure it's charging when you're doing this. And that's because older iPhones or older iPads, their battery is not the best. So even if it's at 80%, 90%, you still should charge it while you're doing any types of updates, just in case. All right, so if you left your iPhone or iPad to be, it would have just restarted. You see Apple logo, loading bar, and then that would be it. You would see the screen scroll up. Put in your passcode and we can go ahead and check out if everything went okay software update and we are all done you're all up to date that would be it for this video if you guys have any questions comments you guys can write down in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and like thank you